Ben Price, 48, with his son Jet Price, 17, and daughter Maya Price, 14. Jennifer Price if you or someone you know may be struggling with suicidal thoughts, you can call the US National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-TALK-8255, anytime day or night, or chat online. The couple owned a small business and two farms in an Illinois suburb west of Chicago, where they lived with their two teenage children. She said her husband was the hardest working man she had ever met. He was the epitome of unconditional love and loved his kids with all his heart, she said. It was shocking and devastating and so completely out of his character, she said. Symptoms may include hallucinations, unusual agitation, restlessness preoccupation, paranoid beliefs, decreased need for sleep and impulsive behavior, said Dr. Jonathan Alpitt, a professor of psychiatry, neuroscience and pediatrics at Montefiore Medical Center and Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City. When people are psychotic, they aren't in touch with reality and may do things that harm themselves and other things that are very dangerous, he said. It looks like COVID-19 has a somewhat higher risk of causing it than other viral infections that we've seen. It just wasn't working. He was pacing and upset and worried, Price said. I was watching my daughter watch him and being worried and MLDR, she saw it was not her dad. Although data is scarce, experts say COVID psychosis may be caused by brain inflammation triggered by the body's immune response to the virus, said Alpitt. Other contributing factors may include the side effects of high-dose steroids, low oxygen levels or the emotional trauma of being severely ill. Some COVID-19 patients also suffer from small strokes that could lead to psychiatric disorders, he said. A first episode of psychosis normally occurs in late adolescence or early adulthood, Alpert said. However, a study he co-authored in November featured a 49-year-old man and 34-year-old woman who had COVID-19 and no prior history of mental illness. You can't imagine the stories, the devastation and the things that people are doing out of character, thriving wonderful people with zero prior, mental health, history, she said. It's happening more than we realize. A massive study, involving more than 230,000 COVID-19 survivors and published April 6 in The Lancet Psychiatry, found 0.4%, or nearly 1,000, had developed a psychotic disorder. There's probably over 50-plus individual case reports where people are describing very specific instances of psychosis in the setting of someone having COVID-19, said Dr. Colin Smith, a resident physician in internal medicine psychiatry at Duke Medical Center, who also co-authored a case report studying COVID psychosis. Patients with temporary or permanent psychosis are at an increased risk of suicidality, said Dr.